here. And thanks for taking time this holiday season to join us for more Explore Tulsa. Hang on, Trish. Let me handle this. You know, I have theater experience. Oh, really now? Hmm. Yes, I played the wizard in the Spotlight Theater's presentation of The Wizard of Oz. So then, what would the wizard say to get us to the Spotlight Theater so we can learn all about their latest children's production, Rags the Riches? He'd say follow the Yellow Brick Road. Follow the Yellow Brick Road? Yes, follow the Yellow Brick Road. Or just head all the way down Riverside till you get to the Spotlight <laughs> Theater. The thing that I like about theater, personally, is that it's a growing, learning organism. Just like sports or learning how to play an instrument, it's art and it's all done through the mastery of using your own talents, whatever they may be, and working with um, sportsmanship, personal responsibility, joint communication, showing up on time, taking direction, and those are skills everybody needs to have, whether you stay in theater or not. They're learning skills that I think need to be learned by as many young people as possible. Well, it offers a bond. Not only a bond of a cast, but of friendship. Theater is all about making friends and learning life skills. I, I also like making people very happy and I enjoy pretending to be someone else. Um, I love making people laugh. I love my role as a firefighter. It's so funny and I love I, on opening night, I loved hearing the audience. They just started laughing when all three of us came out. It was really funny. Everyone has talent. Everyone has their little niche. Theater, Spotlight, especially children's theater in particular, has so many places where if you're a carpenter, if, you're, if you like to do makeup, if, if you like to work behind the scenes, if you like to perform magic, things happen here. And that's what makes theater, and live theater especially, so incredible and powerful and it's such a jewel here in Tulsa to have the Spotlight Theater. Anybody who has just even a thought to do something fun should come down and really take part. I was the choreographer and I did the makeup for Grayson. The makeup was fun, it took some experimentation. Well, he's a 15 year old playing a father, so I was trying to make him look older and giving him some wrinkles and kind of aging him a little bit. It was Irene. When did she die? Oh, um, me father I was really kind of a shy kid, really asocial, and I figured, why not? It's something that I can do to meet people. Started down at the Clark Theater, took a few classes, figured out I loved acting. It goes back to, I guess, around 14 years old, and I have to give Bill McWright credit for that. He cast me in one of the very first things I did, a friend of mine. I was a musician in the band in high school, and one of my best friends was also in band, and his girlfriend was in theater, and, and Bill McWright happened to be the director, and he cast both my friend and I in a show called Winnie the Pooh, and we traveled in a children's theater uh, for many months all over the state of Oklahoma, and I got the bug, um, and I have, I've been doing theater ever since. He has Irene's picture. Then he stole it from somebody. Who'd you steal it from? This time I'll pay you all. I'll give you all you want. Ah! Well, the Spotlight Theater gives the entire community in the city of Tulsa a chance to do something that's frankly kind of missing. You know, we've, we've day and age of computers, and TV, and move, fancy movies. You know, this is. This is intricate and different and new and you always, you know, something always happens live on stage that's different. And it's nice that kids have the ability to do this. When you're at the spotlight, you become a family with the cast and everything. And I think that's really important to have, just to have friends to lean on or even just to joke around with. The spotlight is a staple here in Tulsa. It's, it's an icon. Um, even though it's a very small theater, there's something very nice about that where you always have a good seat in the house. Um, and um, and it, again, it's a great location right off of Riverside. Um, I just love the fact that uh, it's been a tradition in so many people's lives for so many years. There have been people that have been performing almost most of their adult life at the Spent Theater. So it's a big family for a lot of people. I'm rather new to it. It has quite a tradition here in Tulsa, and I'm looking forward to being part of it.